Alrighty, today's video is hopefully going to be pretty quick. It's going to be a follow-up video on a recent video that I did for clearing ice and snow off of your solar panels. I did get a lot of interesting and great comments, and one of them was, why don't I use a leaf blower to clear the snow from the panels? I didn't do it that time because there's a little layer of snow. The rest was ice. Today, we're going to try some leaf blowers because we did get another dusting of snow. It's probably only like a half inch up to an inch. It's super cold out. The snow should be nice and dry and powdery. Perfect for the leaf blowing activities. All right, so we have two leaf blowers going to be using. One is a 40 volt power smart. This one was sent to me. The other one is a Bauer 20 volt from Harbor Freight. I bought this a few years ago. If you want to know the specs real quick between the two, power smart is 40 volt. It came with a four amp hour battery claims 99 miles per hour and a max flow of 310 CFM. The Bauer Harbor Freight is 20 volt. I have a five amp hour battery. I don't have a four amp hour battery to match this one, but that should be okay. It claims 96 miles per hour and it has a max flow rate of 338 CFM. So 99 miles per hour, 96 miles per hour, 310 CFM, 338. CFM. All right, so I guess what we'll do real quick is check the output on solar panels. Obviously, it's not going to be very much, but I'll show you. I'll show you the temperatures outside. I think it's around 10 degrees Fahrenheit, and then we will try these bad boys out. Go over here and check the inverter. Putting out 114, 15 volts, one amp. And if we go up here to the ground panels, we've got 74 volts, 36 watts, and 0.7 or 0.8 amps. If we check the temperature outside, we are 16.2 degrees Fahrenheit. The time is actually 10.30. That's an hour off. I just never changed it. All right, here we go. Up on the roof, we got all 24 panels here, all covered in snow. And like I said, it's just a little dusting. Maybe, I don't know, it's hard to tell maybe a half inch, maybe a little bit more, somewhere around there. That's okay, it's freezing out. It's like 16 degrees. It's nice powder. It should blow off in theory pretty easily. All right, so we're just gonna, I don't know, try both of these. I've tried the Bauer one in some really deep snow. I didn't have very good luck, but since we don't have a whole lot of snow, it should work out pretty good. So I guess I'll just do one at a time and we'll see what happens. First one we'll do is the Power Smart on low. And we'll just do this little panel right here. And it works pretty good, actually. That's low. All right, here's the Bauer on low. Honestly, the Bauer worked about the same. I did end up blowing it onto the next one. All right, so I'll just do them both at the exact same time. Probably should go this way. Yeah, they work about the same, honestly. That was level one. I'm gonna do level two. So that's the top button and then the trigger down below. And of course that worked great. All right, now for the Bauer on high. I think the Level two is actually a little bit better than the Power Smart. All right, we'll do level two. Does have trouble from I don't know, six feet away. Mm -hmm. 
We'll do the Bauer Harbor Freight on level two. All right, so as you can see, if we're on level two on both of them, they both struggle from about six feet away. Keep in mind, we did blow the snow from here onto there, so it's, I don't know, maybe two inches or so on the panels now. So, I don't know, there's probably a third of the panel still covered. All right, I'll just get the rest of these cleared off. This one is a lot quieter, though, too. I think now the panels are starting to warm up a little bit and the snow is starting to stick. Oh. Oh. Almost lost it there. Hopefully that's on camera. All right, everybody, there you go. Looks like you can use a leaf blower to blow the snow off of your solar panels. We did the Bauer 20 volt from Harbor Freight, and then we did the 40 volt from PowerSmart. Both of them did work pretty equally. I would say the 20 volt probably did better on you know the high setting than the power smart but it's kind of hard to tell the snow that's left on there is just from it blowing around and then the panels warmed up so it just kind of stuck there after we get a little bit more sun that stuff should just melt away last ones are the ground mount they're just on the ground that's it uh, i'll do three on that side with the power smart and then i'll do the other three with the bower and i'll probably just do it on high yeah. They're already starting to warm up and snow's getting stuck. All right, that worked actually really good. And if you can see, some of the snow's already sticking to the panels because these started warming up real quick. Last three with the Bauer 20 volt. Here we go. There you go. Both worked excellent. Back down here to check the solar production. Let's see, we are at 207 volts, 30 amps. This is the roof mounted panels. We go up here to the ground mount. We're at 118 volts, 500 watts, 9.5 amps. All right, so we're doing pretty good. Do the battery indicator. So on the power smart, we're showing one bar left, and this is a four amp hour battery. On the Bauer 20 volt, this is a five amp hour battery. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. We're showing two bars, so I would say they're probably pretty equal. This one's just a little bit bigger. Boom, there you go. So you can use leaf blowers to clear the snow off of your solar panels, which many of you claimed you could already do. Especially you, Tim Cat. So yeah, there you go. You can use leaf blowers to clear the snow off of your panels. It doesn't work that well in really deep snow. I've tried it with the Bauer one. Maybe it was just a, a heavy wet snow when I tried it. So I haven't tried it since. So anyway, uh, between the two, which one was better? Honestly, they were both pretty equal. The yellow Power Smart one was a hell of a lot quieter than the 20 volt Bauer from Harbor Freight they both did really good. This one was a hell of a lot quieter and it's actually easier to use because you have the trigger. However, if you want to use the turbo mode or level two, you have to hold the button up top and use the trigger. So this one is nice to hold though. This one I think did a little bit better on high. There you go. That's all I got. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like that smash button if you can find it and I will see you on the next. Almost lost it there. <laughs>